Well, welcome to an extremely windy and gusty Dartmoor. I'm near Kestor and I'm on my way to um, a Clapper Bridge, which is called Ten E There. That's T E I G N hyphen E hyphen V E R. Not sure how to pronounce that. But the wind is really getting up. Uh, you can probably see in the trees here, uh, just to my right there. It's clearly an exposed area anyway, but just looking at the shape of the trees, but it's really getting up. Uh, there wasn't a lot of wind when I started out this morning, but I'm just starting to get concerned. But once again, once again, I'm going to be in for a bit of a wild night. I have arrived at this Clapper Bridge and um, I had these pretentious ideas, there might not be many people here, but so far I've probably seen about 20, and I've been here for about two minutes. Uh, maybe people are coming here to picnic, like I am, for their lunch. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to have a bite to eat, and once I've done that, I'm going to have a look around and see whether or not there are any photo opportunities, and in the meantime, I think this is good. So here I am at the Clapper Bridge. I hope you can hear me. It's really blowing a gale. And uh, I'm in the middle of the river here. I'm going to turn around. So I'm in the middle of the river here and uh, hopefully a bit less wind noise facing this direction. And uh, I've set up with um, the Lee Big Stopper, the 10 stop uh, filter, a hard grad filter as well. Um, quite a contrast between sky and foreground here. And uh, I've been trying some long exposures on this water. I've also got the circular polarizer on the front just to reduce some of the reflections from the, from the water. To be honest, I'm finding it really difficult to see with the um, LCD screen uh, how sharp uh, these images are. Uh, I did focus uh, fairly close and, um, and then switched it to manual uh, some time ago. And uh, I've no idea at the moment whether or not these pictures are in focus. So I'm going to uh, try a couple more. I'm going to refocus and, uh, and have another go. Uh, the other thing is, because it's blowing so much, the stand is all over the place. Um, I've had to put the, uh, the mid center arm up higher than I, I would have liked. I'd rather not use it at all. But just to get the height I needed, that's what I've had to do. Uh, but I think I'd better go stand behind the camera in case it gets blown over. Well, this has been an absolutely beautiful place, beautiful place to stop and have a bite to eat and to just re get reacquainted with some landscape photography techniques. But it is absolutely blowing a hoolie. No rain, just very windy. And uh, so that's going to make putting the tent up a bit challenging this evening and uh, also means it's probably going to be a pretty noisy night with the tent flapping so I'm going to have to do everything I can to get the tent as tight as possible uh, to try and uh, resist some of that wind noise. I don't want another sleepless night like I had last time that I came out on Dartmoor but there you go. This has been great. I'm going to head back to the car now, get the camping gear out, leave some of the photography gear behind, and uh, make my way to my pitch. Well, this might be a completely vain attempt. <laughs> I'm going to load everywhere. But I thought I might just try a little bit of walk and talk uh, while we're going, while I'm on my way back to the uh, Back to the car to pick my stuff up. I tell you what, I'm really impressed that this gimbal 
is putting up with these wind conditions. It's absolutely amazing. The previous gimbal that I had, which was the Zion Smooth Q, I think, one of their first ones, would not have coped with this, no way. Didn't need much more than a stiff breeze and it would uh, be all over the place. This thing is just putting up with it and it is amazing, really. I'm loving these skies. So I brought with me a couple of items, um, well, a couple of other cameras actually. It's now about 10 past six and the latest weather forecast is that it's, it's likely to be a fair bit of rain during the night. So uh, I really don't see much point in dragging uh, that kit with me up this hill. And, um, and I shall just lighten my load a little bit and give myself We'll see what the dawn brings. I think it's likely to be a bit like this. Uh, Grey, uh, muggy, probably a bit wet, and it'll be one of those long, slow grey. So in the distance over there, it's pretty much central picture, is my destination for the evening. The wind isn't getting any lower, so I'm going to have to find some shelter in the lee of what is really a very shallow tour. And behind me is Kez Tor. Let's give you a wider view of that. So. Uh, there's someone actually camping just the other side of that actually, uh, already set up for the night. And also, interestingly, um, where I was taking pictures earlier, the, um, there's a stone circle just beyond the Clapper Bridge, about a couple of hundred yards distant. And someone was in fact also, had also set up camp in the middle of the stone circle, which is a bit naughty really. It's about 17, 18 degrees at the moment. I don't think it's expected to get below 14, 15 overnight. Over to my left over there is middle tour right in the uh, middle of the picture right now and uh, if there isn't a suitable pitch up at Thornworthy then that'll be my plan B. The last time I came through this particular area, I was having to uh, step gingerly between pools of standing water. And uh, so this would have been absolutely wet, this area here. But uh, right now, it's pretty dry. Uh, the wind is right in my face at the moment. So I'm going to have to pitch on this side of the tour, I think. I was hoping there would be enough shelter for me to pitch on the other side with a view of the reservoir, but I don't think that's going to happen.
it's approaching seven o'clock, about five minutes to. So really it's time to get my tent up. Because if it's gonna rain, it's probably gonna start within the next half hour. There we go. Looking back the way we came. Back towards Kestor and uh, middle tour over there. This could work. These long, thick, heavy grasses have really grown up since I was last here and as it happens they're providing quite a bit of shelter from the wind so I think what I'm going to do is just get my tent in as close under these as I can clear away all the sheep stuff and uh, I will have my view of the reservoir well, I won't have a view of the Milky Way, sad to say, which would have been right over there. And it's peak Milky Way season. But never mind, we'll have to make other opportunities. I don't think I've ever shown you guys around my tent. Um, this is a Terra Nova. And uh, the Terra Nova laser competition too and it's just got me through so much bad weather it's been really good occasionally had a little bit of um, condensation inside but nothing really to speak of it's got a decent sized porch area here big enough for my rucksack which I normally empty as soon as I arrive uh, get everything out have a little kitchen area here and uh, tend to put my bags and stuff and any tech stuff down at the bottom end. Uh, I've got quite a lightweight uh, mat to sleep on tonight and a lightweight uh, summer, summer grade sleeping bag. Don't need anything particularly special tonight. And a bit of luxury, my OEX uh, inflatable pillow. Don't normally carry that around with me. All the usual kind of safety bits and pieces. I've got whistles, compass, navigation stuff. I've got a head torch. Uh, that's a pretty decent one, actually. That's rather nice. Uh, and uh, and then this kind of cheapy uh, Petsy um, backup one. This is always a very welcome sight and sound. Once you get set up, looking forward to a nice brew of something or other. And what a, what a window to be able to look out on. Just to see the clouds scudding on the hills in the distance. Look at that view over there, it's beautiful. So I shall have my cappuccino and I will have some spicy Mexican inspired rice. <laughs> Well, it's, it's obviously not Mexican rice, you can only call it inspired rice. And uh, of course, I have to have the Melton Mowbray pork pie. Looking forward to that, there you go. So I'm fairly sure we're not gonna get a spectacular sunset tonight. It's just too much low clouds scudding around but it's a beautiful evening anyway none of the wet that i was promised over to my left if i swing round there through the reeds here over there that's uh, kestor where i've come from 